What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So undefeated WBC lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, 27 wins, no loss and no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout. He is 23 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. He's going into a massive undisputed showdown with newly crowned unified lightweight world champion, Australian star boxer, George Cambosis Jr., June 1st, June 4th, excuse me, here in the States, June 5th in Australia. Uh, they are day ahead. With that said, uh, Devin Haney and George Cambosis Jr. fighting for undisputed, okay? Uh, George Cambosis Jr. is 20 wins, no loss and no draw, 10 wins by way of knockout. He is 27 years of age, 5 foot 9 with a 69 inch arm reach. With that said, uh, there was somebody else in the division, a massive figure in the lightweight division or in the junior welterweight division, more so a lightweight division that made headlines uh, as of today and this past couple of weeks. And that's undefeated three-division world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis, who is 26 wins, no loss to no draw, 24 big wins by way of knockout. He is 5'5 five five with a 60, uh, <clears throat> with a 50, uh, with a 67 inch arm reach. And he is 27 years of age. With that said, recently, Javante Tank Davis, he was featured on Wallow and uh, Gilly the Kids, Million Dollars Worth of Game. And he expressed that what really happened in their two highly highly glorified sparring sessions between Javante Tank Davis and Devin Haney, in which he stated that the first one, he dominated Devin Haney. The second one, Devin Haney got the best of him as he fatigued. But Floyd Mayweather, retired legendary Hall of Fame iconic superstar boxer, who is his promoter turned founder of Mayweather Promotions and the promoter Javante Tank Davis was interfering. He said, uh, Javante Tank Davis said that he kept grabbing him. He kept pushing him. He kept holding him back. He kept stopping the uh, sparring session. He was the referee and he didn't want to see Devin Haney get knocked out. Now we know uh, Devin Haney is a protege of Floyd Mayweather. Okay. Um, he looks up his approach to his style is um, uh, very similar to Floyd Mayweather. But obviously, his competitive nature, Devin Haney, he wants to exceed that of Floyd Mayweather, okay? He don't want to be considered the next Floyd Mayweather. He wants to be the next Devin Haney, right? Not the 2.0 version of Floyd Mayweather. He wants to be better than Floyd Mayweather, okay? Uh, so he's taking the quote-unquote uh, blueprint and turning it into the green print, that's Floyd Mayweather stated, but he's running away with it. He wants to be considered the greatest boxer that ever lived, okay? So with that said, Javante Tank Davis, he recently stated today on um, an episode of I Am Athlete with Brandon Marshall and uh, Chad Oncho Cinco Johnson, and he stated that his next fight, when asked about what he wants to do next, he stated that he wants to fight against... Um, uh, Devin Haney, George Cambos is winner. That's the fight that he wants. Okay. So this is what, you know, uh, Javante Tank Davis had to say recently. He stated that the fight that he's looking to make happen is the fight between, uh, uh, Devin Haney, George Cambos is junior, the winner next. Listen. Next fight. Oh, well, that's the question I asked for you. Is that going to be Ryan Garcia? Is that going to be Lomachenko? Who is that going to be? Hopefully, hopefully we can get even more. To be honest, I so he said i want the winner of devin haney and george cambosis jr right now again recently we know he's uh looking to part ways from his longtime promoter and floyd mayweather He's looking to um, push forward with GTD promotion, Javante Tank Davis promotions. Uh, this is a lane that uh, Devin Haney has been in, okay? Uh, he has DHP promotions, Devin Haney promotions with father, trainer, manager, and CEO Bill Haney, okay? And um, uh, they've been doing it on their own forever, okay? When Floyd Mayweather wanted to sign Devin Haney, Devin Haney stated, no, you, you laid out the quote-unquote green print, and uh, we're going to follow that. We're going to do it on our own. So Bill and Devin Haney, they do it on their own. Their own. Now, they partnership with Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter uh, Eddie Hearn and DeZone. And now they have signed a deal to secure the fight with George Cambosis Jr., who's with Lou DeBella but doesn't have a network. So they signed with ESPN because he was, quote, unquote, the A-side, that being George Cambosis Jr. As Devin Haney, he, 
you know, he delved into this. He stated that, you know, in order to make the big fights happen, sometimes you have to make sacrifices. I saw the big picture, so I signed a multi-fight deal with them, but to secure this fight. So Devin Haney immediately responds to Javante Tank Davis. So this is what he had to say. Listen. Now, uh, recently, Javante Davis said that he hurt you in the doghouse, you know, when you got sparred way back. But Floyd Mayweather kept pushing him off of you. Uh, what's your response to that? He can say what he want to say. At the end of the day, um, he knows he knows what happened uh, in the doghouse sparring. Um and he said it, you know, he said that I guess I got to him when he got tired or whatever the case may be, but this boxing, um, which like, there's no excuse for you to get tired. And then, oh, I just, I, I got tired. So the, uh, um, at the end of the day, it is what it is, but the push, pushing me off and he almost knocked me out. That's, that's, that's cap. That's a lot. Tank also said that he reached out to you two, uh, two years ago to spar you again. But you turned down the sparring. You said you're not an effing. Now, so what he's getting ready to go into is that Javante Tank Davis, he stated that Devin Haney got the best of him in the last sparring session, but Floyd Mayweather able to help him. But then he said a few months later, he reached out to Devin Haney and he said, let's spar again. He wanted to get his get back. And Devin Haney's going to respond to saying that it is true. He stated that Devin Haney told him, uh, uh, you know, I'm not no sparring partner. You know, um, and he left it as that. But Devin Haney is going to delve deeper and explain that he's that is true. Tank did reach out, but he did say he's not no sparring partner. But he told Tank, "But let's do it for real. We could do it for real." He left that part out, and De Devin Haney he states that I don't know if he conveniently left it out or he just didn't. Uh, the message wasn't relayed from me to him correctly because there was a middleman that had reached out to Devin Haney on the part of. Uh, um, Javante Tank Davis, and he stated that he told him, I'm not sparring him, I'm not a sparring partner, but we could fight for real under the lights if it counts. Uh, so he said that he, he left that part out conveniently. Listen to what he had to say. Uh, sparring partner, uh, you want to comment on that? that, that what is, it's actually true because uh, he reached out to a dude named T. Hill to reach out to me uh, to spar. And what I told him was that it was not the whole truth because what I told him was I said, I'm not no fucking sparring partner. We can fight. That's what I. That's what I said. But I don't know. Maybe if, if the the message got back wrong, or if he just didn't want to say that part. But that was what was really said. So you see, he confirmed that that did happen, and he let it be known that listen. I said I'm not a sparring partner, not because I didn't want to spar him, but because if we want to do it, let's do it for uh, uh let's do it when it counts for money under the lights uh, in front of the world. Davis. Now he's going to address Javante Dink Davis saying that he wants to fight him next. Listen. Beefing with Floyd uh, or them, better yet, you know, them falling off and stuff like that uh, due to jealousy and, 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 and stuff. Well, this is a part where he's going to talk about um, Floyd Mayweather and uh, their relationship, but Devin Haney has no interest in uh, talking about that part. So listen to what he has to say. Money and they, whatever they, they got going on that's between them, that ain't really my business it's, as far as boxing-wise, me and fighting or whatever the case, yeah, that, that's different. But his business with Floyd and Floyd business with him, that ain't really my that ain't really my lane, you know. So I let them figure that out and sort it all out, and I'm gonna be here. Well, Tank revealed that he leaving Floyd Mayweather. At least that's what he hinted at. That his contract is gonna be up after the Roley fight, and he recently said that he want the winner out of. Uh, Devin Haney, uh, Devin Haney and Combosis. He wanted to fight the winner. That's what he said the other day. So, um, what's your thoughts on him finally acknowledging you and saying that he want to fight you next? That's good. That's good. I mean, I'm open to it. I'm open to fighting him. I'm open to fighting Loma. I'm open to fighting uh, Tio. You know, I'm, I'm willing to make the big, biggest fights happen. Um, I'm not ducking, dodging. You know, nobody. And um, whoever it is, I'm willing to fight. How does it feel to finally... So there you have it. Devin Haney, he, uh, um, you know, he welcomes the opportunity to fight Javante Tank Davis next. Obviously, Javante Tank Davis uh, will have to wait because if Devin Haney, uh, part of the agreement for Devin Haney to be able to get this undisputed showdown because let's be frank, uh, George Cambosis Jr. wasn't Ill, well, willing or eager to jump in the ring with Devin Haney and fight him for undisputed. So for Devin Haney to 
create, carve out his niche and his legacy, he had to, uh, um, you know, make some sacrifices. And this was one of them. So he beats George Cambosis Jr. Uh, in Australia. He's going to have to immediately rematch George Cambosis should George Cambosis activate the rematch clause in Australia again. And then it looks like on the back end, a third fight would have to be against uh, Lomachenko. Okay. Um, but he, he understands, Devin Haney says, uh, he understands the long-term goal. He's only 23 years of age. So when this is all said and done and dust clears, because he's a fighter that stays very active. So when the dust clears, he'll only be 24 years old uh, and his contract essentially will be up with top rank and he'll be undisputed and he lets it be known that uh, then I, I call all the shots that I'm the cash cow, right? Uh, this is a fight. Should Javante Tank Davis separate from Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather Promotions, and be on his own. Uh, now, he, you know, alluded to that he still wants to stay with the PBC, Premier Boxing Champion, founding advisor Al Heyman, and uh, Sh Showtime, uh, Showtime Sports President uh, Steven Espinosa. Uh, he still wants to uh, stay loyal to them. He just is not going to be under the umbrella of Mayweather Promotions. It'll be with GTD Promotions. Uh, so this should be an easy fight to be made after this. Uh, and again, right now, it will be difficult because Devin Haney is with ESPN. So let's say George Cambosis Jr. doesn't activate the rematch clause, okay? Uh, and he chooses to go a different route, depending upon how bad he gets beat by Devin Haney. Uh, and, you know, Lomachenko does uh, announce that he's going to make his comeback, his ring return. Well, then uh, don't expect to see Devin Haney versus Javante uh, Tank Davis at that point. I uh, expect to see Javon, Devin Haney versus Lomachenko because he has an obligation to ESPN now, right? Uh, and so ESPN is not going to venture out, give Tank Davis the opportunity over Lomachenko, who's their fighter. Uh, after that, Tank will have to, you know, uh, seek out other opponents. Now, Tank stated that he wants to seek out a fight with Ryan Garcia if he can't secure this fight. That's more likely. So Devin Haney immediately responds, uh, lets it be known. Uh, this is a fight that I want. Uh, we got to see how it plays out. But first thing first, he got to handle business with uh, George Cambosis Jr. June 4th in, in, in the States, June 5th in Australia. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Devin Hayden is one of the only fighters in the sport of boxing that has been staying true to his word. Uh, when he seeks out a fight, he's been seeking out and pursuing that fight. If the fight didn't happen, it's not on him. It's on the other party. So let's see how everything unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon and get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.